Okay, so we'll start at the top of our mat, just with your feet, however they really seem to comfortably fall, but kind of wide. And then just take a forward fold. And close your eyes. And just start to shimmy and shake and move around into your body. Maybe bend one knee, bend the other. Maybe start to wave your arms, just loosening in to the shoulders. And then take all 10 fingers, interlace them. Just put them at the nape of your neck. Gently rest them there. And let your head start to lay down. And then from here, if you have it already, start to connect into a deep breath, in and out. Feeling your spine lengthen with your breath. So inhale through the nose. Feel space between your vertebrae. Exhale out the nose. Feeling release of stale energy. Inhale nice and deep. Exhale, release it out. A couple more times. Inhale big through your nose. And exhale, release, let it go out. Inhale big through your nose. Exhale, let it go out your nose. And then let your hands fall down towards the floor. Keep the breath nice and steady, in and out through your nose. And just slowly roll up to a standing position. When your head comes up, shake out your shoulders, shake out your hips. Roll your neck around. Just teach yourself how this little bit of movement allows you to release. And if you're having trouble, just sigh it out, exhale it out, when you feel those little sticky spots. So you're just always using your breath to relieve tension, to soften up. And as you get to the center next, just pause there. Step your feet in, back hips width distance. Point all your toes forward. Draw a big circle with your arms, rolling them in. And then inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Look at your belly button. Inhale, look forward for me. And then exhale, bend your knees. You can keep your hands on the floor if you need to. Just try to shift some weight in your heels. Inhale, straighten your legs. And then as you exhale, step your right leg back. Bring your knee down. Inhale, reach up, soft through the gaze. Exhale, take your hands down. Step your left knee back. Inhale, reach up, eyes to your fingers. Exhale, take a child's pose, hips to your heel. Inhale, snake yourself forward so you're laying on your stomach. Take your hands underneath your shoulders, a little tuck of your chin, and then inhale, just point the right toes, lift the right leg. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, lift your left toes, lift your left leg. Exhale, set it down. A couple more times, inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, set it down. One more time each side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Point both toes. Inhale, Curl your chest up, look up. And as you exhale, press yourself back to standing on your knees. Roll your spine. Inhale, 
reach up, look up. As you exhale, step your right knee forward, bring your hands down. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left knee forward, find that crouch again, maybe hands forward for balance. Inhale, straighten into your legs. Exhale, gaze at your belly button. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to your sides. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, ground through the heels. Inhale, straighten into your legs. Exhale, left leg back, knee down. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, put your hands down, step your right knee back. Inhale, roll up through your heart, look to the sky. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, snake it forward onto your belly button. Point both of your toes behind you. Keeping the feet grounded, tuck the chin. And then inhale, lift up through the back of your heart. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up through the back of your heart. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up through the back of your heart, hands soft on the mat. Exhale, lower down. Maybe the next one, you come into an upward facing dog. And then as you exhale, plant your knees. Inhale, reach up, look up. As you exhale, Take your left knee forward, hands down. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your right foot forward into your crouch. Inhale, straighten into your legs. Exhale, gaze at your belly button. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to your side. Now take a couple rolls. Exhale, tuck the chin. Inhale, lift the gaze. Rolling through your whole body. So as you create movement, as you work on these postures, our tendency can often be to make the end result perfect. And that can cause undue pressure. And so you're just using these moments in between to let it all go out. Roll through your spine however you want, just to release. And then come back up to standing. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, crouch down. Inhale, straighten with your legs. Exhale, take your right knee down. Inhale, lift your arms and chest up. Now from here, you can stay just a couple breaths, lifting the heart, or maybe take your left arm in front of you, palm up, and then maybe start to bend the right leg behind you, getting a little added quad stretch. Breathe. So try to remember that sensation of your breath, your body, in your more free movement. Near that ear. If you're holding on to your right foot, you can go ahead and release it. Take both hands down so that they frame your left foot. Step it back. Inhale, reach up, lift through the heart. As you exhale, take a child's pose. Inhale, snake yourself forward. Upward facing dog or cobra. 
Exhale, tuck your toes. Send your hips up for a downward dog. Go ahead and pedal into your feet. Maybe take a couple of those spinal rolls, even, just to settle into your downward dog. And then inhale, lift your right leg up. You can bend the knee, draw some circles. Inhale, lengthen the right leg. Exhale, knee to forehead, round your spine. Inhale, lengthen the right leg. Exhale, knee to forehead. Inhale, lengthen your right leg. Exhale, knee to forehead, step it through. Left knee down. Inhale, reach up, look up. As you exhale, take your hands to prayer at your heart and start to twist. Left elbow outside your right knee. Now if you want a little bit more, you can lift the left knee half off the floor, engaging your left leg. Use your inhales to lengthen your spine, your exhales to deepen your twist. Take one more inhale. Then exhale, put your left knee down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take your hands down. Step your left foot forward to a crutch. Inhale, straighten your legs. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to your side. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, sit into your crouch. Inhale, straighten into your legs. Exhale, step your left leg back. Bring the knee down. Inhale, reach up. Now you can stay here or Take your right palm facing up on your right knee. Maybe bend your left leg behind you, getting a little quad stretch. Deep breaths. Really enjoy your exhales. If you're holding onto your back leg, release it down. Plant your hands on either side of your right foot. Step your right knee back. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, snake it forward, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Pedal it out, shake it out. Move around a little bit, there's no right answer. Just relax into the shape. A shape where your spine feels long, so if it feels like there's a kink, maybe bend your knees. Find more space. Breathe. Inhale, lift your left leg up. You can bend the knee. Roll it around, stack your hips. Inhale, lengthen your left leg. Exhale, forehead to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Step it through. Bring your right knee down. Inhale, reach up. Look up. Hands to your heart when you exhale. And then you can take your twist. Right elbow outside the left thigh. Maybe press into the top of the right foot. Lift the right knee off the floor. Breathe, open your chest with your breath. On your next exhale, take your right knee down. Inhale, reach up. Then as you exhale, plant your hands. Step your right knee forward, find your crouch. 
Inhale, straighten into your legs. Exhale, gaze at your belly button. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to your sides. All right, again, we're gonna take some of those rolls of the spine. So hands on your thighs. Exhale, tuck your chin and round. Inhale, puff out your heart. You can move a little bit from side to side. You can close your eyes. Just find some kind of movement that helps you release. So that your practice doesn't physically create any of the stuff that you're trying to get rid of. And then come up to standing, hands by your sides. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, bend your knees. This time, sit all the way down. Lift your feet up. Now you can bend your knees if that helps you keep your spine long, or you can straighten through the toes. Lift your heart. Breathe. Bring your hands to prayer. Maybe bend your knees if it starts to get too much, or keep it straight. Inhale, puff up the chest. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the left. Bring it to the center. Reach out. Point your toes. Take a big breath in. Exhale, plant your feet, come back up to your crouch. Step your right leg back, bring your knee down. Inhale, reach up, look up. Now take your hands behind your back, interlace all 10 fingers in one fist. Reach your fist down, lift your heart up, breathe. Release hands on either side of your left foot. Step your left knee back. Inhale, reach up, look up. As you exhale, child's pose. Inhale, snakes you forward, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, knee to forehead, step it through. And then inhale, reach up, crescent warrior. So try to shift your weight a little forward and back, maybe. And then settle on a low lunge with your heart reaching up high. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, take your hands behind your back, reach your chest forward. Interlace your fingers in one fist, and then inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, bring your chest down. Shift your knees front on one spot. Shift your weight to your right leg. Float the left one high. Point through your left toes. Reach your fists towards your left foot. Breathe. On your next exhale, slowly bend the left knee, pull it up to your chest, and then set it down on the mat. Release your hands. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, bend your knees. Step your left leg back. Bring your knee down. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, interlace your hands behind your back in one fist. Stretch the fist back. Lift your heart high. Breathe. Slowly. 
slowly come out of the back bend. Place your hands on either side of your right foot. Step it back. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, reach up, crescent warrior. Maybe move forward and back. Getting into your legs, into your hips. Eyes up, heart up. Breathe. Settle in. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, take your arms back, your chest front. Interlace your hands in one fist. And then inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, come back to the 45 degree angle. Gaze on one spot. Shift your weight to your left leg. Float the right leg. Point the right toes. Reach the crown of your head away from your toes. Breathe. When you're ready, slowly press into the left foot as you pull your left knee or your right knee towards your chest. And then gently set it down and release your hands. Shake out your head, your neck. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, look up halfway for length. Exhale, bend your knees, crouch down. Now this time, only crouch so low is that you don't need your hands to keep you there. So maybe you're a little bit higher up. Stretch your arms front. Start to feel length being created in your spine. Breathe. Gaze on the floor. Lengthen through the back of your neck. Take one more inhale. Exhale, sit all the way down. And then find a comfortable seat. Take your hands on your shoulders, elbows out. You're going to inhale, twist to the left, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, exhale. Maybe close your eyes. Powerful, exhale. So these strong exhales cleanse the stomach, the intestines. They also release cortisol the stress hormone. So exhale strongly. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause in the center. Keep your hands on your shoulders. Maybe keep your eyes closed. Take a big breath in through your nose. Open up your mouth, sigh it out. Again, big breath in through the nose. Open up, sigh it out. We'll do it on the other side. So now let's inhale right, exhale left. Try to sit up tall. Soften your eyes beneath the eyelids. Strong exhale to cleanse when you go left. Head up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, slowly to the center. Let your palms fall, maybe facing up or facing down on your kneecaps or thighs. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale to go out your mouth. Again, big breath in through the nose. Exhale to go out your mouth. One last time, deep breath in. Exhale, side out. Slowly open up your eyes. And then from here, place your hands in front of you. Lean forward into your hands. Step to the top of a push-up or a plank. Stack your wrists, your elbows, and your shoulders. Lengthen to your heels, through your tailbone. Stretch forward through your heart and the crown of your head. You can always bring your knees down. Breathe. Try to maintain that same relaxed, free-form attitude when you are shaking and shimmying and releasing as when you're holding this more powerful pose. Take an inhale, push into the floor. As you exhale, bend your elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, urdha mudra. Exhale, tuck your toes, auto mudra, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, step it between your hands. Spin your left foot flat. Inhale, reach up, lower your edge. Bend into your right knee. Press into the right foot. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, open warrior B. From here, flip your palms up. Inhale, you're gonna straighten into the right leg, arms overhead. Exhale to warrior B. Inhale and exhale. Rest in your warrior B. Turn your palms so that they face down again. And then from here, bend into the left leg. Straighten into the right, hands to prayer. Back to a warrior B. Inhale, into the left leg you lunge. Exhale, into your warrior B. Inhale, and exhale. Can be small movements, but keep the breath big. Pause in your warrior B. Flip your right hand. Inhale, reach. Reverse warrior. As you exhale, take your right hand inside your right foot. Maybe right forearm on the thigh, left arm up. And then from here, you can roll your left arm in some circles. Maybe try both directions. Take your left hand back behind you. Bring your right hand to meet it. Square off to the front of your mat. Hands behind your back. Exhale, bow forward. Try to bring your nose towards your right big toe. Breathe. Inhale, reach up, warrior A. And then as you exhale, twist. Left elbow out or outside the right thigh. You can come up onto the left toes if that helps you get the twist. Press your palms into each other. Roll your chest open. Breathe. Now stay low in your right knee. You're going to get light on your left foot. Bring your left knee down 
and then sit down. <laughs> so you want your right foot by your left knee, your left foot by your right hip. You can keep your hands in prayer and twist. If you need a little support, right hand can go behind you like a kickstand. Gaze over your right shoulder. Slowly bring it back to the center. Keep your right leg on top of your left. Lay down on your back. Now if you can wrap your right foot behind your left, go ahead and do that. Take your right arm underneath your left. Maybe your hands come together, maybe not. Reach your fingers to the floor, your toes to the floor. Take an inhale. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, crunch. your hands and your feet on the floor. Undo your arms. Keep them like a cactus, but keep your legs. Take your knees over to the right, gaze over to the left. Inhales to lengthen your spine, exhales to twist it deeper. Slowly bring it to the center. Unwind your legs, but keep your ankles crossed. And then roll yourself up to a seat. From here, take your hands in front of you. Interlace your fingers. Release your index fingers, cross your thumbs. Inhale, your elbows are gonna lift. Your fingers are gonna reach down, head up. Exhale, round and reach forward. Inhale, bend, exhale, round. Inhale, lift your heart, exhale, round. Maybe close your eyes. Maybe move a little faster. Doesn't have to be perfect. and bring your hands to prayer at your heart. Keep your eyes closed. Just settle still for a second. Get back to your normal breathing in and out through your nose. Just slow and steady breathing. From here, Roll forward, put your hands down. Find your plank again. Press into the fingers, press into your knuckles. Lengthen your spine. Breathe, remember you can always bring your knees down. Look forward with your left eye and with your right eye. Take one more inhale. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Spin your right foot flat. Inhale, reach up, warrior A. 
Settle into the left knee. Ground through the right big toe, your right pinky toe, long, strong back leg too. One more inhale. And then exhale, open up, warrior deep. As you bend into your left leg, turn your palms so they face up. Inhale, straighten into your left leg. Exhale, warrior B. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach wide. Settle into your warrior B. Lift your palms so they face down. Inhale, start to bend into the right knee. Straighten into the left leg. Exhale, warrior B. Inhale, crouching lunge. Exhale, warrior B. Inhale, bend the right leg. Exhale, warrior B. Inhale, bend the right leg. Exhale, warrior B. Flip your right palm up. Inhale, reach for birth warrior. Exhale, side angle. Left hand down inside the left foot. Maybe forearm on your thigh. And then draw a couple circles with your right arm. Trying to open up your chest. Maybe try the other direction. Releasing that holding sensation in that shoulder. Stretch your right arm behind you. Square off your hips. Interlace all 10 fingers behind your back. And slowly start to bow. Nose towards your left knee. Breathe. In and out through your nose. Inhale, reach up, warrior A. As you exhale, hands to your heart and twist. Right elbow outside your left thigh. Now you can come up onto the right toes if that helps you stay square. Little deeper twist if you keep your back foot flat. Use your inhales to lengthen, your exhales to twist. Now try to stay low in your left knee, keeping the hands into the twist. Step your right foot forward, bring your right knee down, and then gently find your seat. So the left knee is outside the right, or the left foot is outside the right knee. Right foot is by your left hip. Hands in prayer to twist. Maybe take your left hand down. Inhales to lengthen. Exhales to twist. Bring it back to the center. Lay down. Left leg still on top of the right. Maybe you move the foot. Left arm underneath your right. Maybe palms come together, maybe not. Reach your fingers to the floor. Inhale. And then exhale, crunch. Release your arms to a cactus. Slowly let your knees fall over towards the right. They don't have to go all the way down. 
Maybe gaze to the left. Use this moment to check in. Use this moment to release. Remember, you're trying to let go of all the tension, the stress in your body. So tension anywhere is tension everywhere. And we don't want to create it in order to create a posture. So you're just using these moments in between to let go and start again, maybe a little lighter. Bring it back to the center. Roll yourself up and then scoot forward. Come onto your knees. Maybe move a little bit back on your mat so you've got some room in front of you. Take your hands, push across them, reach them towards opposite shoulders, and then put your elbows down on the floor. From here, take your hands down on the floor in line with your elbows. You want to keep them there, and then tuck your toes, lift your hips up. Maybe walk your feet in. Maybe you stay here, just press into your forearms, try to open up through your chest. That might feel like enough. If you want a little bit more, maybe you lift one leg. Try the other leg. Maybe you give it a little hop. And try a version of your forearm stand. When you're ready, bend your knees, come to a child's pose. Take a big breath in through your nose. Open up your mouth, sigh it out. Take a big breath in through your nose. Open up, sigh it out. From here, tuck your toes under, send your hips up, downward facing dog. In your down dog, look between your hands and you can step or uh, you can hop. Feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale, look up halfway for length. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to your sides. All right, so from here, shift your weight into your left leg. You're going to bend the right knee, pick it up off the floor. Now you can take your left hand, hold on to your right knee, maybe keep the right hand on the hip. That might be enough. Or maybe you extend your right leg forward. Maybe the knee stays bent, put your hands on the outside of the foot. Maybe you can stretch it all the way out. Maybe reach the right hand behind you, no matter where you're at with your legs. Maybe shift your gaze towards your right hand. Breathe. Slowly bring it back to the center. Pull your right knee up, let it go with your hand. And then send your right leg behind you. Grab onto the inside of the right foot with your right hand. Reach your left arm up. And then slow and steady. Reach and stretch. Dancer's pose. Bring yourself back up to standing and set the right leg down. Go ahead and roll it out. Shake it out. Remind your body to calm down. 
and then come back to standing. Lift up your left knee. You can grab the outside of the left knee with your right hand, maybe left hand on your hip. Maybe reach towards the outside of the left foot. You can start to extend out. Maybe reach the left hand behind you. And finally, maybe shift your gaze. Slowly bring it to the front. Release your left foot, keep it up. Send the foot behind you. Grab the big toe side with your left hand. Reach your right arm high. And then nice and steady, reach and stretch. Dancer's pose. Slowly bring it back up. Set your left leg down. Roll your neck and shoulders. And then come standing straight, palms face forward. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, hands down. Now you can step or you can hop. Bottom of a push-up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. From here, bend your knees. Bring them down to the floor. Take a couple cat cows. Inhale, lift your chin, your chest. Exhale, round. Pause in the center. Extend your right leg behind you. Point your right toes. Extend through the right leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, lift. Try to grow longer through your spine. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Long through the right leg. Hold it up. Stretch your left arm front. Inhale, lengthen left fingers to right toes. Then exhale, bend your right knee behind you. Start to kick into your left hand. Lift your chest. Inhale, reach and stretch apart. As you exhale, tap, take your left hand down and just keep the right leg straight, but tap it. Then you're going to open up, keeping your left knee down. Reach through the right fingers high. Shift your weight a little bit forward. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Try to keep soft and expansive through the heart space. Inhale, lift, exhale, tap. Three more. Slowly take your right hand down. Take your right knee down. Square off in the middle of your tabletop. And then send the left leg back. Long left leg, point your left toes. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Creating length in your spine. Hold it up. Inhale, reach your right arm front. And then reach your right hand behind you, bend the left knee, start to kick and stretch.
slowly release back into your lean. Keep the left leg long, tap the toes down, step the right hand down, and then open up onto the right side. So right hand underneath your left shoulder, reach your left arm up, gaze up, shift the weight to the right pointer and thumb, inhale, lift the left, exhale, lower, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. So you're working on the breath, you're working on creating space and calmness in your chest, length in your heart space, and length in your legs. Lift it up and down. One more, inhale, exhale, bring your left hand down, your left knee down, child's pose. From your child's pose, Slowly snake it forward so you're laying on your stomach. Bring your left forearm so that it's parallel to the front of the mat. Bend your right knee behind you. Reach back with your right hand so you're holding on to the big toe side. And then maybe you start to pull the right foot towards your hip. Maybe you flip the fingers so that they roll over the toes. Try to keep your chest lifted. Breathe. Release the right leg. Take your right forearm so that it's parallel to the front of your mat. Bend your left knee behind you. Reach back, grab the big toe side. And then maybe you start to pull. Maybe you flip and roll your shoulder. But don't worry if you don't get that. Try to keep the right leg active, open through your heart space. You can release the left foot. Now, you can go ahead and do um, both legs again, one at a time, or if you want to try both at the same time, bend both your knees, reach back, hold on to the inside of your foot. Maybe you start to flip your grip. Breathe. Slowly release it down. From here, um, take your hands underneath your shoulders. Press yourself up so that you're standing on your knees. Take your hands to your lower back. Fingers down or fingers up. And then just start to roll the shoulders, lifting your heart. Maybe you start to see the floor behind you. You can take your hands to your heels. Slowly bring it up, head back, and sit down on your heels. Alright, we're going to do one more back bend in this position. So you can do that same camel pose, or if you want to try it with a little deeper, capital tasana, the full camel. Either way, hands or knees hips with distance, either hands where they were, or you can reach them in front of you. Inhale, reach them up, and then start to lift your chest up.
Maybe your hands come to the floor. Maybe you walk down towards your feet. Maybe that's enough. Maybe you grab your heels, bend your elbows, and bring your forearms down. No matter where you are, breathe. One more inhale, and then slowly lower down. Just one breath in between, so big breath in, and big breath out, and then choose your second back bend. Calm breath. Slowly lower it down. Pull your knees in towards your chest and roll yourself up. Stretch both legs out long in front of you. Inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, stretch your hands forward. Release your spine. Keep your breath nice and deep. Tension fall out. Give yourself permission with each breath to release your body a little bit more. And then slowly roll it up to a seat. Cross your knees, plant your hands, step back to a plank. Inhale, push into the floor. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. As you exhale, bring your right through the half pigeon. So your right knee goes outside your right wrist. Extend your left leg long. And then draw a couple circles with your chest. Just releasing the neck and shoulders because your hip is getting a tremendous stress. So it happens a lot that we transfer. And you want to let go completely, not just lean. 
what we don't want to another spot of our body. And then maybe you stay here. Maybe you bring your forearms down. After all those back bends, a twist might feel nice. You could stretch your right arm forward and thread your left arm underneath. If you want a little deeper twist, take your right palm, press it into the top of the left palm, and then work on straightening your right arm. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, bring it through half pigeon. So left knee by your left elbow. And then again, just bend into your elbows a little bit. Allow your upper body to move. Maybe both directions, clockwise, counterclockwise. You can add your neck into the equation. Maybe stay with your hands, helping you stay. Maybe bring your forearms down, or you can come all the way down. If it's all good, take the twist. Thread your right arm underneath the left. Maybe keep their left arm reaching, or stack your left palm on top of your right, and press both arms straight, both fingers, all sets, 10 fingers, just reach them out. Breathe nice and deep. Bring it back towards the center. Plant your palms, step it back, take a vinyasa. From here, you can step or jump your feet to the outsides of your hands. Toes out, heels in. Sit down into a yogi squat. Now maybe you just keep your hands in prayer, work on pressing your elbows into your forearms. That's really, really nice. Try to open up through your chest. If you want a little bit more, maybe reach your hands behind you, so kind of through your legs. Try to get your legs on top of your shoulders. And maybe just stay here for a second. Shake out your head. Feel your spine lengthening and releasing in the opposite direction after all the back bends. If you want to take it up into the arm balance, maybe you get a little light on your feet. Just bring your toes together and just practice lifting up one foot, lift up the other foot. Maybe lift up both feet Vipassana. Breathe. When you're ready, come back to your yogi squat. Hands in prayer. And then really reach forward and gently sit down. Cross your ankles, cross your shins. And come up so that your 
uh, sitting on their heels. Take your hands, reach them back, grab onto your heels. Sit up tall, inhale, puff out your chest. And then exhale, tuck your chin, round down, lift your hips off your heels, bring the top of your head to the floor. Now that might be enough. If you want a little bit more and your knees are not touching your forehead, you can walk your knees up towards the forehead. Breathe. Rounding into your spine. Slowly take your hips back towards your heels. Roll up out of your rabbit pose. Head last. And then come to a comfortable seat. Butterfly your knees out wide. Bring the soles of your feet together. Reach your feet far away from you instead of pulling them in. Reach your hands forward. Clasp around the feet. And then try to keep a flat back as you bend your elbows and start to bring your forehead toward your toes. Slowly bring it up. Pull your feet in closer towards you. Cup your feet. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold it forward. So it's almost the same position, but an entirely different stretch. Stretch your feet out in front of you. Scoot forward so that you have enough space on your mat to lay down. Plant your feet hips with distance. Reach your arms in front of your thighs. Lift your chest. And then slowly start to roll down. Lengthening your spine as you go. When your head touches, let your hands come down. Keep your head on straight. Lift your feet up. Take your hands to your lower back for a supported shoulder stand. Now you can keep it here. Just make sure the weight's on your shoulders. Or you can take your feet over the top of your head for a plow. You want a little deeper, opening up your back. Bend your knees by your ears. You can even grab the heels and give a little tug. You have your knees bent, take your legs back straight. Take your hands to your lower back to support you. Slowly back up to shoulder stand. And then roll gently onto your back. If you need any final stretches, maybe a twist, maybe a happy baby, you can go ahead and take that. And then settle your 
yourself into your Shavasana. So let your ankles fall open, let your palms fall open, and close your eyes. Let yourself take this rest. If you're having trouble sinking into your Shavasana, maybe give it a couple, or maybe a couple wiggles out through your wrists the ankles or wherever else, and give yourself permission just to let the ground bend hold you when you're done. You've got plenty of time here. Staying in your Shavasana, I'm just going to play the singing bowl for you. Let it vibrate and sound through your body. Shavasana for a while. You can take as long as you 